Hello folks, today we're looking at City State. It's a cheaper, simpler version of SimCity and your city skylines with a bit more of an emphasis on policy and politics um, and stuff like that. So I'm just letting it randomly generate something. That's quite foresty, let's just maybe dial down on all that. Maybe a little less beach as well. Uh, just so we, are, we can actually plop stuff down a bit easier. Yeah, that'll do. Create a state. Let's create a new state. Greatsville. And let's have a little flag. Um, nice smiley face because we're great in Greatsville. It's going to be a big grin. Big cheesy grin. And also... Eyes. Eyes! That's our flag. Anyway, now we have to choose our politics. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Who cares about politics? Uh, let's choose... Let's make it a co-op. Uh, whatever that is. And... Social ownership of the means of production. Hooray! <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll stick to fairly basic stuff. Hooray! Greatsville. New state has been established. And so, here we go. First of all, let's deal with an issue. Because you keep on getting these every few minutes. And you have to choose... Um, what exactly you want to do. Wildlife preservation. How should we do this? No participation. Let this private benefactors take care of it. All the way up to completely state controlled. Um, let's go fairly David Attenborough here. Let's do a little bit of um. Well, it doesn't cost us anything, so why not? And we can see what the policy is actually um, affected. Absolutely nothing, pretty much. Although it's costing us a little money. So that was a bit of a waste of time. Um, but there are more kind of urgent ones more important ones that come up over time. Let's start ourselves a little place to live. Uh, that cloud is so in the way. So, build us a little road. And you've got to basically build, you've got to zone things. Let's, let's start with some low density. Just paint it on like that. There's a rather irritating thing in the way there, so let's get rid of that. I think you can go up to three tiles and it still can count as connected to the thing. Uh, we probably need them to set up a farm. Let's really get some. We'll we'll need a lot of road. Um, let's make all this stuff around here farmland. We'll need to clear a bit of land. Like that. And here as well. Of course, we will have to start balancing budgets soon. So we will need to do, set up some exports. We will need to start mining. Um, the farms will provide food. Um, and as you can see just here... Um, if you produce more than you actually eat, you actually can sell it and get some money out of it. So we want plenty of that. Also, it should help with employment. Um, the tutorial stuff is telling me at the top. Yeah, let's hide the tutorial. We don't want that. So we haven't really got many houses at the moment. All the lower and middle class people want to move in. And we don't want to have a great traffic situation. So what I'll probably do is try and spread things out a little. And when I was playing around with it earlier... I think I made everything so dense that everyone got a bit pissy. Uh, and then, you know, <laughs> scenes were had. So I'm going to try and keep a lot of the um, the living places really close to the... the this, every, every bit of road will have upkeep. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and keep um, a lot of the houses towards the water. Because I believe that should actually give us a bit more land value. Oh, it looks all red to the right. What's that? I wonder if it's some... Um, Oh, you can prospect for gold in forests. I didn't realise that. Or it might be jungles. Oh yeah, then when you've got the prospectors thing on, you can prospect for oil or iron. Whatever. In fact, you have to really, so we can make some cash. But let's check over here. This is it. Is that the farm doing there? Anyway, so it looks like we may actually be able to prospect for iron here. Let's try and find something with a high percentage. Right. Start underground survey. That costs five hundred quid. To start drilling, we need to spend two hundred quid. Ah, but we have found iron. So we can build a little thing. We'll need road access. Maybe try again with... Hmm. Actually, that's really good up there. But let's try that one as well. This is slightly less chance. Yep, got that. Uh, I don't know how close it needs to be to a road. Um, I think I think with iron mines, they have to be, have to be quite close. Otherwise, they won't work so let's just let's just do that that should be fine and um, we'll need more housing let's let's go for high density here just over here although it will have a bit of a knock-on effect on the roads but never mind well i might do join that up there there's some more lower density stuff here 
make sure that land value stays up. I'll burn a couple of parks. I think these have a radius of three of operation. Try and put it in most where it's going to be most useful. These are very expensive to upkeep. Right, let's check the land values. So land value over here. What have we got? Six. Desired ten. That's actually worse than it should be. Uh, middle class. Hmm. A low income over here. Land value much higher. Uh, land value unknown. I'm doing a job. Bloody. It seems to be quite high, so that's good. I think it's possible because it's near the water. Not so good over here. Doesn't help that there's actually a bloody great mountain next door. Oh, hang on, we've got another prospect. Let's, let's be doing a, a survey. No resources, but let's just stop it. Oh no, just, I've broken the mountain. Oh, dear. There, the mountain's gone. Uh, labour law. Should our labour law regulate more sensibly? Work contracts and relationships between employees and employers. Ooh, let's give a minimum wage. That doesn't cost anything. Presumably. Uh, not, nothing costs anything. Hmm. Let's be good. Let's give our workers goods. Good stuff. That's actually not been too bad at all. We're going to have more demand for middle class housing. That's probably good. Who knows? Let's see what people think of me. Public approval 22%? That's poor. But it's not too bad. And let's... Check the budget. At the moment, I'm not taxing them very much. Let's tax them a little more, because our tax flow is a bit piss. Every time you change the tax up or down, you destabilise the state ever so slightly. Uh, I'm not going to push taxes up to... Well, hang on, let's put it up to there. So that's a little bit more taxy, but middle class is still fairly demandy, so that's not too bad. Let's check the traffic. Uh, it's, not, it's not actually counting yet. It is over here, so there's not that much traffic. You can increase the size of the roads. What have we got? We've got 930 people, and that's about it at the moment. Let's see how much we're trading. We're making plenty of um, food, so we're exporting to the tune of 100 quid. And we're also uh, make, getting a lot of iron, which we're exporting, and we're hardly using it at all. Oil! We'll need to use oil at some point. So let's see where we can prospect for oil. This looks like a very good place, but it's a bit far away. Well, I think we'll cope with it. I'll extend this road expensively over here. 53%, that's not great. Let's go for that. This is almost certainly going to... Yes. Yeah. And also, let's just try another one as well. Right next to it. Go on, let's, fl let's make a place an oily... S oh, no. Let's make a entire economy based on oil. I think that might be a bit too far from the road. Yeah. I think this is a little bit more generous, this one, than the um, the mountains, but we'll see. Right, so it'll just take a little bit of time for it to stick. That's got road access. In fact, both of them have, so I think it is within three for oil. That's nice. In fact, whilst I'm, whilst I'm down here, let's take a bit of a risk with a 56 percenter. Yep, good. That's eating into our budget. But we actually have got a good, well, a reasonably decent cash flow. Uh, our exports have definitely gone up quite a bit, so that helps. Might actually do some more farmland since we've got all this. I can get rid of that. Get rid of the. Oh, you can get rid of the water. Farmland. I don't think farmland really contributes to traffic, so you can have quite a lot. In fact, let's make it all farmland here. There, it's nice and rural now. Let's make one more bit of that. So, cash flow is positive. We should actually maybe start budgeting for some of this at some point. Um, but you do, I suppose you do need quite a lot of this, so... I'll start very, very limited. <laughs> that's basically the, the most token... Oh no, we've got traffic now. So, 15 cars a minute, that's not very much. Um, you can upgrade things in situ. What I might do, actually... Is... Go to the lake... Extend this road a bit. We'll just double check to see if there's any... Um, oh my goodness, okay, this is quite a... Um, yeah, let's do this. There might be a bit of industrialisation of this area. Even though this is supposed to be like my new housing area. That one's as good a one and all. So I haven't quite worked out like... Um, the, the land value stuff is a, does seem to be a little less 
Um, so well, there's no overlays as far as I can tell, like in SimCity, for, for, to actually get like a real good sense of what the land value is. You do seem to have to do a lot of hovering. It's not great at the moment. Um, that park over here is increasing, supposed to be increasing land value by 10 in various directions. Uh, well, I know what we'll do. Was that? I was, uh, we've got a new issue to take care of. Let's have a slightly better park over here. And maybe... Maybe another one over here. Let's try and increase things. Let's see what the issue is. S should the government start a space program? Private companies can, but the state doesn't give a toss. All the way up to a national space exploration program. I don't really care. This is my state. More important things to worry about. Let's do... Let's just do restricted. Oh! Oh, Elon Musk is too good for my city-state. The flamethrower-selling prick. Right, come on, let's actually get some... Should we have some high dens? We'll put some high-density stuff here. Let's try and get things a little moving. Let's try and get some... Let's try and get some upper-class people over here in the watery area. Right next to the mine. I don't think it's ideal, but never mind. And we'll put some cheap parks there and there. Also there. That's going to be quite expensive. But our cash flow is doing quite well. Right, so our farms are fine. Our oil is fine. Not swimming in cash, but it's getting there. From, from a lot limited amount of play I've had of this so far. And once you actually get the knack of this, it's not supposed to be that difficult. But there's still more content to come. It is in, it is a, it's had a full release, this. It's not early access. But, oh look. A bit of a, yeah, a cutting... In December. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's not early access, but there's, there's still plenty on adding new content as thing, as time goes on. This was released uh, on Steam in sometime in like mid-February. Let's see what's going on. Is there a speed-up button? Yes, there is. A little bit of a speed-up button there. Yeah, they're still busy building. Land value seems to be quite decent here now. That seems to have improved quite nicely. Land value here, though, is, is piss on toast. And we don't really want piss on toast in our city-state. Do we? Right, so I'm, I'm, this time, as opposed to my other go, I am trying to be a bit clever about roads and not just have dense things everywhere. I'm not quite sure where to build next. It's very islandy, this place. I think it's probably time to get rid of this forest. It's a stupid forest and it can bugger off. So we don't get two sort of um. Hmm. Can I actually get rid of that mountain completely? We can! I'm trying not to, um, this is going to be quite expensive, I'm trying not to make it everything too dense. And I'll make this, we'll make this another bit of sprawl. I'll go for medium density over here. And maybe some, maybe some low density across here. And parks, there. There, there, and there. Quite expensive. As time goes on, you can apparently unlock new buildings and things. Uh, depending on legislation, I think. Let's go to these. For some reason, the parks are, all, are called ploppables. Ploppables. I think we've got an issue. Private schooling. Should we regulate private ed education institutions? Well, obviously we should have state schools, but... Hmm. We want to attract the upper classes because they don't give a toss. I'm going to go for the whole pedagogical option. Because pedagogical. So that's, for some reason that's actually helped the lower class. Middle class, hate. Higher class, good. Alright, so it's a bit of a budgeting um, impact, I think, positively. Oh no, the cash flow's gone down to nine. Seven. Six. Eight. Four! Oh dear. Let's prospect for something. Let's take a bit of a 50% risk. We found oil. There. Cash. Mm. Oh, hello. That's a good one. Drill! More cash. Let's see what the trade situation's like. Yeah, actually, the food. Yeah, we're doing very well on the food. I think food is, is becoming our best export, isn't it? Yeah, we're producing for days. Mind you, oil is um, probably punching more above its weight than I th would have thought. 
Stock markets. It's happening. Nobody knows what that's about. Literally nobody. Meanwhile, traffic's still building up a bit there. Still a bit there. But not too badly. Yeah, it's still only 20 cars a minute. And the capacity for this road is 80. I think the next step up is like 250. But I'm guessing it's not the best thing to actually live next to. It's all got little, nice little spaces here. Which is nice. Don't really want to fill them. Unless it's with a park or something. Land value is good there. Land value over here is tits. This is the wrong side of the tracks. Very much the wrong side of the tracks. Land value six. Six. Dirty. See, even there's a park right there. This really must be a bit of a piss place. Do, do, yeah, I think the park is actually probably best there, isn't it? Um, I know. Met some. There. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's very useful. I could get more farmland here. Then we really could sort, like, sort out our cash. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Get some as much space as we can. One, two, three. Ting! The issue is in. Alright, let's do that. Not quite so much space here, but never mind. Should we regulate the control of the quality and the oh, I've just realised we're on fast mode still, aren't I? That's why these issues are coming thick and fast. Uh, let's see, should we toss Uber out of our city? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Wait, what's this gonna be? I think the middle class is gonna like this if I am um, hmm. Let's go let's just go for the fairly no, standard taxi cab. There's quite a lot of typos in this game. Standard taxi cab license required to operate. Middle class have not given a toss. Um the higher income population like it though. So, whatever. I'm trying to get more upper class people in just so they can spend all of the money in my casinos or whatever the hell they do. These bloody people. Middle class. The middle class is doing well. Let's tax them. <laughs> ha! It's also dust. Let's tax the rich. Actually, let's not. We haven't got any rich people. Well, maybe for now I should leave that quite low. Maybe they'll move in. Mm, cash. A little bit of extra tax whilst I'm at it. Also, but but also let's let's give back. It's not costing us too much, so let's go a bit a bit higher. Then we'll actually have some education, health, and our security. Meanwhile, public approval is twenty-one percent. Income equality is not as bad as it was in my other game. We got to up to about fifty, and I couldn't work out what to do about that. Uh, meanwhile, who have we got actually in my town? Um, we've got a lot of people who play City Skyline for some reason, um, and also some beautiful women. Probably not an overlap. Uh, culture. I've got like a, a gun ownership, um, popular um, reality show watching population. Oh, marvellous. Mm, also, they're all fat. Toing. Oh, this is tr this traffic situation. I was trying to design a way around that, but no, we definitely have a bit of traffic going on. Not quite sure where they're going. There's, there's no obvious commercial building. You don't, you don't zone for commercial. Yeah, the traffic's really shot up. Mm. I could replace that with a um, a bigger highway. This hasn't really changed much. I think it's possibly because we have got a bit more of a grid thing going on. I think the next place we need to um, probably expand out into is over here. Um, it is a painting. When you when you do this, it's a... I wonder if you can press shift up. No, you can't. It is a painting thing. You can't just like um, draw it in squares or whatever. You can't do a proper... Large area. I have to do everything manually. It's a shame. Let's go down here. There's an issue at stake. Let's see what the stake issue is. Gender equality. Should the government fund programs for gender equality? Yeah, why not? It costs 24 quid. Ah! Uh, what's that? Well, we've got plenty of cash flow. And we want to keep freedom good. Or civil rights good, anyway. We want to make sure that everyone's happy and... Say, although the upper classes are still spurning us. Bricks. I reckon I could probably get away with some high density here. Just a bit. Because there's not going to be much traffic around here. And then we can sort of drift into medium density here. And I'm thinking about having a little sort of enclave for the posh. The poshos. They can kind of go over here. The posho enclave. It's... Hardly any houses at all. It's just them. And let's hope they appreciate that, the pricks. 
Now let's try and actually have some nice... If I put a park there... I wonder if it needs road access. Probably technically. No, it doesn't, but... It probably does, technically. A bit of maintenance, but good land value. So let's hope that helps in some respect. Land value over here is reasonable. Very good over there. Very good over there. Far from that in crowds. Over here, oh, it's low income. Basically a trailer park over here at the moment. It probably is. Not super high resolution, these graphics. Nice lake, though. Oh, traffic. How come this traffic's so powerful over here? Blimey. Right here is like... Um, it's, yeah. Don't want to think about that. Cash flow not great at the moment. We are ma selling quite a bit of stuff. We've got quite a lot of middle class demand. And probably put some more houses here, actually. And here. <laughs> Let's really ramp up the urbanisation. Also put a park there. I'm not going to put one there. I think there might be one already there. Yeah, there's one right there. Cash flow is now, oh dear. Oops. I've gone into the negative. So is there anything more we can explore? Possibly over here. Yeah, there's some good prospects over here. We can even start on that one. We don't have to connect anything up. Nothing? Actually, we are... Oh, no, we're not really running out of cash, are we? My god! That was... That was expensive. Anyway. Unemployment benefits. To what extent should we provide unemployment benefits? Mm, the cash flow is poor at the moment. So we'll have to be mean for now. You can't change these yet. Anything that you pass, you can't actually change... Here, let's have a look. Apparently you can't change until all the issues have been answered, which might be quite a while. Could you have 6,500 people? Let's try and get to 10,000 in our liberal welfare state. I think as you keep on enacting things, if you, if you enact things in certain directions, um, it does actually change it, so it does, will actually say something like totalitarian state. Ooh, I think it's more of a traffic area in a state around here. Look at that. What have we got? Oh, it's only 15. That's not too bad. Although, now, it's going to become traffic city over here. Uh. Well, this is not... So far, this is... um, Yeah, this is probably going to be the best place to expand. I mean, that's what I built it, after all. Let's... It's just medium density, the whole place. There. There'll be plenty of traffic there now. Put a part there. Right, my cash flow's gone down the swanee. Due to, due to all that building and stuff. So let's continue trying to find some more stuff. Yep. There as well. Right, now we're starting to really have to pay attention to the budget, because we are getting quite close to um, not having any money. <laughs> um, you can issue loans and things. Right, let's see. Let's try and actually get... Let's hope we improve our iron exports now. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Oh, it may have already changed, though. 195. We've got production 80. We're actually using quite a bit of it. Also, food-wise, we are not quite as selling as much as we used to because we are expanding so much. We probably do need to make bigger farms. We've already got a million bloody... God damn it. Well, here's, here's an idea, because this is already fairly busy over here. Let's make this farmland. We've got plenty of space. This, says, this shouldn't add to the traffic, I don't think. We could also make that all that farmland as well. In fact... Oh, that's not going to be no good. <laughs> Forget that. That's not. That's too far from the road. Right, give me you. Look how close... Oh, dicks. Okay. I think it might be... <laughs> just realised I'm in a month's time going to be penniless. So, let's whip up the taxes somewhat. Now, that should theoretically... Yeah, that's really improved things. Back into the green. <laughs> should the, lim the government limit forest investors? Uh, what's this going to cost? That's going to cost money. That's going to cost a little less money. That's going to gain us money. That's going to gain us cash for days. Ban for let's, let's just go fully state. Oh, it's really helped the lower class, that. But not freedom. Freedom is now piss. 
I was hoping to cha somehow change the government to see how that worked. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the traffic situation. It's awful. What about over here? Has the traffic gone too bad yet? Nope. No. They're handling the traffic quite well. In fact, weirdly, this is the um, possibly the most traffic issues area over here. Quite surprised by that. Right, so food-wise, I think yeah, we are doing that. Let's now we're actually we're, now we're actually doing a bit more taxing. Let's give back again. In fact, let's go all the way up to ten. In theory, that should be improving these figures over here, but it looks like it's a long, slow process. That it's going to take a while to give them money. So we're already expanding quite a lot. I mean, look, we've almost filled up the well, <laughs> not exactly, but we are filling up the map quite a lot. If you get, start to get to um, a population of fifty thousand and more, you can start building these. Um, our colleges. But that's not for a long time yet. Um, let's go back up to full speed. Hmm. Demand. Slow down again. Demand is poor. Look at this. Demand is going red all over the shop. Ah. Uh, well, I could, could reduce taxes a little bit on the upper classes. I'm not quite sure if that's actually going to change demand or not. I think it's um, a wider issue, that. You can change immigration policies. I can facilitate it a bit more. Uh, but... Foreign populations could alter the level of education and other indicators in the country. Well, let's facilitate it a little bit. Although that's some... Look at the, bit of the stability there. That's, some, that's taken quite a hefty chunk out of things. But let's see how that affects things in general. That's bonds. That's a bond screen. I don't want to care about that. Uh, we actually have a bit more lower class demand. So let's maybe... I think we could probably f slide in some high density stuff here. And not pay too much of a price. I'm going to check up on our inc incredibly rich neighbourhood up here. Low income. Oh. <laughs> the land value is actually very high over here. Right next to the water. It's just a very low income area. Hmm. Well, Sodom, frankly. <laughs> Bastards. So what is that there? Greenhouses? No, I think I must have just put that there by mistake, mustn't I? Sod off. <laughs> Frankly. Look at this little mountain island. That's no good to anyone. Let's see if there's anywhere we can exploit over here for oil. I've got iron prospect there. Oh, this is very kind of um, iron prospect as well. Let's go for that. No resources found. There we go. Thankfully our cash level is a bit higher at the moment. Let's get in there. Hey, that's not bad as well. Let's try that. No resources. God, this is like gambling. This is tossing my cash. Oh no! I better stop, because I've just realised I've actually spent all my money. <laughs> I might have to wait a couple of months to actually earn some cash back. Oh god, look. Traffic. But, god. This might, maybe this road is just... Bleh. There, 71 out of 80. That's that's getting out of hand. I mean, I c if I upgrade it, you can just paint over. You can downgrade it as well if you want. Uh, see what effect that generally has. I mean, that's going to be a lot more expensive now. Land value over here is currently quite high. Not quite sure if putting a a huge bloody main road there, which is now capacity of 250. I'm not quite sure if that's actually going to increase or decrease land value or not. If I live there, I'd be pissed off. So how are we doing? Oh, we've actually got over 10,000 people now. A public approval rate of 21%. That's really terrible. Freedom Index, 40. That's not great. Civil rights, it's okay. Um, we are getting more GDPing, which is nice. Isn't it? A lot of smokers. Oh dear, there's lots of suicides as well. Uh... Oh! Private security. Should private corporations be allowed to provide security services? Yeah, why not? I'll give some cash. Um, it might stimulate higher income population, but apparently um, they're still they're still in the toilet. No poshos want to come and live in my shithole. In Greatsville. And he's got a great flag. How dare you. Also, the stock market went balmy a while ago. 
It flew off the top of the graph. Yeah, anyway, we are actually getting good cash flow now. So, I think it's settled down reasonably well. In fact, demand is slightly changing as well. So, let's give back a bit. And that's great, Phil, I guess. Um, well, I might play around with this a bit more off camera, I think. Um, but yeah, I think we'll stop here for the actual video. Um, it's not like a huge game. Um, there's not like a vast amount you can do in it. But there will be more content added over time. And it is fun, like a, it's fairly, kind of like a fairly undemanding SimCity style game. But not much money, so um, check it out if you fancy that sort of thing. If you're bored of all the other ones. <laughs> um, and fancy a bit of political nonsense. Um, cool, okay, so do subscribe to be notified when new videos go live. Um, do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and unlock a load of bonus videos. Uh, check out the Discord if you want to chat about things to do with indie games, um, such as... stuff. <laughs> there. Um, cool, okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye for now.